such a cool brain. I'm the oldest one in the room. It's hauntings as well. <laughs> So early, but I'm at the station. I'm going to Boston and then Salem. More seats towards the front, guys. Well, then you're out to Boston. There's a stop at New Rochelle, Stanford, Bridgeport, New Haven, Old Saybrook, New London, Mystic, Connecticut, Westerly, Rhode Island, Kingston, Providence, Route 128, Boston Back Bay, and Boston South Station. Conduct. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Right now, we are waiting for an engine to come rescue us. I don't have a time frame. I'm being honest. It's really up to Metro North and their troubles of what they just did to us. Okay, I finally made it to Boston after that dramatic train ride. I'm on my way to go meet Andrew now. Andrew! We're going on that tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna go get some lunch before we go explore Boston. I think you haven't told us to come here, it's the market. A butter beer latte? Oh, look at that. Or, or we're going to pancake. I'm going to pecan pancake pea. latte, okay. That's get all four. Have a cinnamon roll latte? Yeah. I could spend hours in here. I don't even know. World War, no. Kevin get anything? Preserved bouquet. These are fake. It's for me. I love just because. What? Cards? Just yeah. because cards? You know, okay, pick one and that's gonna be. Yes, I love that's this game. The, that's the card you have to send to someone sometime for the rest of the year. You okay, I'm picking, I'm picking. Okay. So far you have no more parades than a warring car. Do you have a really good dude <laughs> dress you're going on? You're a rare find. Well, it's not true, is it? <laughs> Off leash hours? <laughs> There's so many dogs. We're heading back to the hotel now and then we have dinner with Ben, Abby and Kona later. Oh, 
Usually there's little kids you can keep without carrying. Oh, oh that's so around. pretty. That's so gay looking. <laughs> Go jump in, Andre. Yeah. Oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! What'd they go, Kona? They reset every like minute or two. <gasps> wow! <laughs> These are some fancy fountains. <laughs> oh, oh, right in the face. Oh, oh show's over. No, I've never had a cannoli before. First cannoli. Oh. Bad or good? That's good. Give it a real bite. That was a minute. That was a minuscule bite. Review out of five stars. Not four and a half. That's pretty strong. Put yeah. a lot of cream. Yeah. It's a car. Oh, I'm feeling a bit sick. It's so fucking clean. Today is the day. We're heading to Salem. And we're just going to get morning coffee. Oh, it's a non profit. Do you want to do half and half? I think I'll do half and very much and whatever. Yeah. Okay. So one, two, three is. You get three chances. We're playing one, two, three, he's yours. I didn't ask. You can take the first guy that walks by, or if you decide to pass, assuming there's somebody better out there, you can take the next guy that walks by, or if you don't take him, you're automatically stuck with a third guy. Ready? Here we go. One. Mary. One. Oh, pass. Okay. Okay. I'll just pass it out. Three. Yeah, I'll marry that. I want to make me, put me in the snow snowmobile, toss me on the mountain, and watch me blow up. <laughs> One. One? One. Wait, yeah, nice. This is the sound bay. If you're not going to sound, you get off this boat. where we'll be staying at Daniel's house. We can't actually check in yet, so we're just gonna drop our bags off. I love these signs that say who the house was built for. It's witchcraft, Andrew. The 
Does everyone be able to see Crombie Rich? A few years ago, the people that own the TV rights to that want to come to Salem and put up some sort of box or a memorial. We had nothing to do with us. We set in Connecticut in the 1960s for God's sake, right? We take our history seriously in Salem, right? We had protests, we had demonstrations. We said we're not having that nonsense, not here in Salem, right? Then they offered the city a lot of money and put this little pocket statue off to our left. So basically we sold out and took the money. And now we get a statue of friggin' Elizabeth Montgomery on a broomstick in the middle of Salem. And tourists laugh to get their picture taken. Meanwhile, across the street, poor Bridget Bishop gets nothing, and she was real. The whole thing makes me nuts. Don't you dare take pictures of that. Across the street from Old Neal down just a little bit, red and white wooden building, it's red sandwich shop today. But 250 years ago, it was the London Coffee House. It was the headquarters for the Sons of Liberty here in Salem. Now directly ahead of us, we have the Joshua Whitehouse. Cool. Everybody any good pictures of the lighthouse? And this is the Witch Statue Museum getting the wood here to step on. Okay, so I'm not allowed to film again. The folks at the Salem Witch Museum do a great job of explaining the true story of what really made the city so famous. I'm with Allison DeMario at the Salem Witch Museum. Well, Greg, this is our exhibit, Witches Evolving Perceptions, and it gives a much larger context to the idea of the witch. As you know, the Salem Witch Trials took place in a very short period of time. We let people see that this wasn't just one, one separate little incident, but in fact it's, it's a model for behavior that has been repeated over time. I thought I had it. Wow, where am I? Yes, that is me. I actually really love that print. I considered buying it. Why is that brilliant? Look at that wearing heels. That's incredible. This is stunning. This is from the labyrinth. There's only one of the pair. Do you think I should get a scorpion in a box? I love something like that, so yes. Because I am a school PA. True. What is that? Dried flowers. I love dried flowers. I make my own though. light and airy. Yeah, I'm, my bath's gonna break over here, so just don't worry. 
the closet. I think that goes to the bathroom. No? I'm scared. I don't want to go in there. <laughs> True. I want to I, look. I What's feelings. in there? I felt bad with feelings in there. What? I can't open it. Help. I feel bad feelings in there. I don't want to get in there. The closet. With a small door. We have to creep this room all Don't you dare. Pull <laughs> the small door. Yeah, let's just say that. Lock this door. I feel like this will be creepy at night. Oh, we look great. What's this lighting? What's this lighting? Okay, we're going to dinner. World famous. Is it world famous? Yeah, it's at award winning. Oh. The lady said she ate. Look everything. at this bread. Wow, it's, it's violent. <laughs> That's idea. All right. Welcome, welcome everyone. This is now, of course, this land poses rock, uh, houses Rockefellers today, but way back in the 1600s, it was, of course, the first Puritan church of Salem. Back then, they would go to church for eight hours a day, three times a week, in a town that outlawed singing and dancing, considering it devil worship. Quite a party town, huh? The basement of the church is the source of our story. This girl named Sarah, who's the barmaid and cleaner down there. And then there's this young sailor whose name has been lost to history, unfortunately. So we just call him Bob for the sake of the story. This is a ghost story. Nothing good happens here. And so they take the bribe and help him bury Sarah's body in the crypts below the boarding house. What a betrayal! Now, of course, they do this in a very specific way back in these days. Today, we find someone on the ground. What do we do? They check their pulse to make sure they're still alive, right? They did not know this in the 1640s. No. So what they would do is they would tie a string around the person's toe. It would go all the way to the top of the grave, and a bell would be attached to the other side. That way, if the person wakes up in their coffin alive instead of dead, they would use this broken bell to alert people nearby to tick them up before they suffocate to death from being buried underground. See, they see him in the corner shaking like a leaf in the wind. His eyes are dark from lack of sleep. The bells, the bells, the bells, make them stop, make them stop over and over and over again. Well, as time goes on in the late 1800s, Daniel Lowe & Co. shows up, the jewelry manufacturing plant. In later years, Salem went back and dug around to find his personal records, his diagrams, his inscriptions, and they find multiple obscure references to the sounds of bells being heard in the late parts of the night. He would go to the sub-basement of, of his workshop, finding the noise of bells to grow louder and louder with each step. And when he gets down there, he finds what he describes as the specter of a woman on many accounts, with a blue colonial-era servant's dress on her body. There is a colonial woman on the wing. The woman on the wing. I saw her. There is something they're not telling us. Follow me this way, and we're going to take a look. She'd be seen barking under the table like a dog, howling like a wolf at random times. And in church, she'd be seen making fun of the biblical scripture. Who has played MASH? Mansion Apartment Shack House. Anyone? Raise your hand. It's quite similar to Venus Glass. Except MASH is a lot more uh, modern, of course. It predicts all the things about your life. Your house, your spouse, your car, everything. But Venus Glass is a lot more primitive. It predicts only one future eventuality. You ready for this one? It predicts your future husband's career. Oh gosh, I wonder why a 13-year-old girl living in the minister's house would want to play that game in the 1600s. So eventually, Tituba was thrown into jail and tortured for several days. So this is whose house from Hocus Pocus? Allison's. Allison's. Absolutely, my friends. This is not just Allison's house from Hocus Pocus. Oh no, it has a lot of history. There's a lot of history. You know what else comes next. There's hauntings as well. This place is known to be very cursed in Salem. It's only called that because the most crazy events in this house's history happened under the rope's ownership. So guess where all four fires started in this place? The one room. Yeah, that top right one. You know what we call that around Salem? Definitely ain't no quinky dink around these parts. We call this one a haunting, and we believe that Abigail Ropes is most directly responsible. We believe that she sets these fires routinely to ward people away from the cursed home that so many have died in. It's beautiful. I love this place. I wonder if anything will happen tonight. I kind of hope so, but also I don't want that. rocking chair, Andrew. This is such a cool room.
I mean, they've done it really well. Good morning, it's day two in Salem. We're walking to go get coffee. There's an alarming amount of runners, so we're worried that there's a Salem Marathon. Or, even scarier, it's people that run on vacation. Doing a door series, are we? Door series, yeah. Andrew, finish strong. Like if I started running all of a sudden? This hadn't happened so this. Monkey paw sounds. Which is cauldron? Talking about you. Oh, which is cauldron? Yeah, that's my. Okay. Caramel sauce. Do I like sugar? Sure. Hot charcoal. I hear him doing witch's cauldron. This is my my ancestor, Bridget Bishop from Norwich. Hanged on June 10th, 1692. Only 300 years older since you were born. That's actually not that long. No. Yeah, exactly 300 years later yeah. I was born. Yeah. Wow. Sarah Good. Elizabeth Howe. Susanna Martin. Rebecca Nurse. Sarah Wilds. George Burroughs. Martha Carrier. George Jacobs, yeah. Great name. John Proctor. John Willard. Giles Corey. Martha Core. Terry Easton. No. Easty? Sounds like Easty. <laughs> I love that we both thought that. That'd be Easty. Alice Parker. Mary Parker. Great first name. Samuel Wardwell. I really loved the ghost tour last night. The witch balls. I might do an omelette. Look at this, New York egg cream chocolate syrup, soda and milk. We get that for fun. No, <laughs> we will be ill. Oh yeah, it's a strainer. It's a cheese grater. Oh, that's a strainer. Crystal Companion Candle. To activate your new candle, hold it between your palms of your hands and roll it back and forth while speaking words of power intention. Hmm. Well, I don't mind that, that's fine. Yeah. Look how great these books are though. Mm, that is great. Excuse me. I like witches, I don't mind that one. I like the sirens. This is cool. Oh, it's a little house. It has a house which on it too, it's branded. So what's that one, for a cozy home? Clearing and refreshing. Cozy home, protecting positivity. Oh, I love that. It's for locally or for friends from friends of the shop. Oh, that's amazing. Um, they come with everything in the little cubby and the card walks you through how to perform their ritual. I hear a lot of success stories from the Drew Harris King. Oh, and it really? blows my mind. Like almost every week people come in and said that they had wow. their success story. You need that. Huh? What are we getting friendship or something? I'd get this one. Probably. What does that say? 
Salem. Or the Take any photos of the actual store. I think that's so cute. A little moss ball. Oh, I like the cat, but I don't like lavender. Andrew, are we not getting temporary tattoos? Oh, for Louisa? I don't know this Me too. We should really get a drink, but there's so much stuff to see. I'm making focus focus. Oh, when I fun, I feel like you have to. Room on the broom sounds fun. I just love to clean one. These bumps have bubbles in it. Yeah. And elderflower, you like that? I do. And ginger, I love that. I'm making focus focus. I still want room on the broom. Candy corn sounds like way too much going on. I hate, I don't really, I know you like amaretto, I don't like amaretto. I love amaretto. I know, you don't like me do it. In here? In the back of the floor, safe. Uh, the Fox sisters, they were two sisters in upstate New York, and they had made that claim they could communicate with spirits who knocked responses back to them. Rather than asking yes and no questions, waiting for knocks, they eventually tried to count the knocks to figure out what letter the alphabet they were on. So they introduced an alphabet board where they point to the letters and numbers, wait for knocks. Right. So that's device number one. Device two is that automatic writing planchette. So that planchette with the pencil. Oh, with the, the pencil, wheels. yeah. yeah. So the way that works is a medium channel to spirit through themselves. They would write for right themselves. Wrong. So that existed in France as early as 1853. It comes to America across paths with an alphabet board, and that's really how we get a talking board. Today, here, uh, there's a lot of negativity associated with these boards. Mm -hmm. Most people, they know horror movies, they can think of bad things with them. Yeah, yeah. But really, that's not how most people view them. Most people really found a lot of comfort from these boards, and they've just viewed a lot differently. The guy up there on the top left, Charles Ketter, takes his breadboard, and he takes his cup and saucer. He kind of matches those items together, and starts playing around with the, how they move on there. He's like, I think 
I can make something like that. Mm. And so he doesn't have a factory. He goes to a local coffin maker and he produces the board that's laying flat here on the case. Okay. I'm embellishing a little okay, bit. He fine. made coffins. He also made cabinets and other woodworking things okay. like that. So the board you see laying in the flat in the case here is the oldest one in the room. It's from 1890. And he was calling them witch boards originally. Before, Helen Peters asked the board what it wanted to be called. The board spelled back Ouija. She asked what does it mean, and the board spelled back good luck. It's a brand name, just like Kleenex of tissues, Ouija is the talking boards. Sadly, Helen, you know, she's a woman at the turn of the century. Yeah. She gets written out of history. And only two years after this happens, a manufacturer named William Fold takes over the, the, the company. Yeah. And unfortunately, you tell the story long enough and it becomes the truth. He starts telling people that Ouija is German and French for yes, yes. Eventually it's the Egyptian, you know, good luck. It means the Egyptian good luck board, things like that. So other stories start to develop. And what I find most hmm. uh, disturbing, and you know, a woman being written out of history, we're not going to argue that. That's the worst. Yeah. But him telling people that it's German and French for yes, yes, as opposed to the board named itself, which no other product could make the claim of, right. is more insulting to me than anything. Oh yeah. Interesting. The board, so that's that what is, I had had. But Elijah Bond, who patented the board, whose headstone you see right there, is he put inventor on the paperwork because you have to claim inventor with a patent. patent. Yeah. But he would always tell people, I didn't invent it. I only made improvements. So again, this board existed prior to the Ouija board. His improvements were probably putting that double arch in it though. He probably just put the arch in it, but doing that little design change is what made it so user-friendly. These are bougie. Oh, love a bougie. Like the white one a lot. A bougie planchette. Wow. Oh, absolutely. Look at this one, how it goes round in a circle. Wow, Your this one's will intense. Not be inside, but there will be no other course for dislike. Do you see this one? Hitler will soon surrender to Russia and her allies. Hitler will seek peace very soon. Oh wait, so these are sections, when will the war end? And then I guess that one's about marriage. And then this one is, what trade or business should I follow? Guiding starboard. I think you should get one today. And we should do it. Absolutely, yeah. How cool would it be to have a Ouija board from the Ouija board museum? And I would assume it's you, because it's like a box. Yeah, I've had that I'm gonna ask what is favorite. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, great question. Yeah, you're welcome. I love questions. When you said I love questions, like, okay. Ew, ask the questions girls want to know. <gasps> what? This is, this is only at Toys R Us. Wow, what is it? Oh my god. Be, be fair, that's where we got ours. From the first one we yeah. had. Yeah. Wow. What are the questions? If I could trade places with any famous person, who would it be? Who wants me to be their best friend forever? You! What's the point of a Ouija? Ouija though, is it ask the spirit questions or then to make, help you come to this stuff? It's yourself? supposed to be just to connect with the spirits. I don't think it was ever supposed to be about predicting the future. So that was from 2008. <gasps> Toys R Us wow. exclusive. And they marketed this to girls ages eight and up. Yeah, I saw girls want to know. And besides the pink carrying case with little yeah. Disney lettering there on the back, little suggestion cards that came with the board. And I love the questions. Who wants me to sit with them at lunch? Yeah. Will I be in a rock band oh, yeah. someday? Well, 2009, a few Christian groups got together. They called for a boycott of Toys R Us. Only problem is the board was already sold out. And it was that popular. Yeah. In the game maker's defense, they made other games in pink that they were trying to target to girls ages eight and up. One of the other games they made, Monopoly. I'll ask you both a very serious question. What do you consider more evil? Playing Monopoly, or capitalism and bankrupting your friend is the object of the game, or asking this cute, adorable pink Ouija board here, yeah. who has a crush on me? Yeah. Right, yeah. The fun stories when you live together in New York for mm -hmm. many years, 
and our we bought a Ouija board. Oh, nice! Fun Oh, cool! Yeah, I know. It's, it's, it, that's why we're here because we've always had like a we've always had a, a memory connection. of that. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, that's awesome. I can remember the blue one that we that we yes. had. Yes. Oh, the glow in the dark one. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh that um, is the gateway drug, man. Yes. That's 1998. Yeah. And I tell you, people that come to the museum, that is so many people's first. It one. really is. It really yeah. is. It really, you know, I don't know, I don't know how many they sold at that one. Yeah. But. Just by the people I meet, yeah. that is a lot of people's first board. So I'm actually part of a registered nonprofit. We research, preserve, celebrate all this history. A headstone for uh, Elijah, and we saw the case there. Helen, we put her headstone in just four years ago after we found out she was buried in an unmarked grave. Oh, We've done wow. a factory that William Fold fell from. That is the state of Maryland's first public landmark. My favorite board in the museum. I've set a few different boards today. I like to mix it up. Oh, so okay. but it's gonna be the, it'll be this board down here. This is consistently my favorite board. So down here, this one here laying flat in the case is called the Electric Mystifying Oracle. It was made in 1933. It's a metal board. So 1933, a wooden board like this, this sold for $1.50. This one sold for almost $5. And the company put all their capital in producing it. It was a flop. People loved it, but in 1933 during the depression, nobody wanted to spend $5 for a board. So a couple years later, World War II comes along and they scrap them for the war effort. So that's the, that's, the, that's the honest answer for it. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right, we're going to focus on the bad stuff right now? Yes. All right. Well, you've already been reading, so I, I can't tell you about the first suicide from 1900, where a woman was so consumed with the messages, she wanted to find out for herself where the messages were coming from. So she took strychnine and poisoned herself to get to the other side of the board. So everything here in the museum comes from my collection, except for... Boards. First one that's not mine, Stranger Things board on the wall right here. Sorry. Sorry. Now, this one I like to keep it in the museum because it changes a lot of people's ideas about how old something is to be haunted. Typically, most people tend to think something is very old, maybe not as recent as 2017, but the previous owner of this board had a bad experience with it. So much so, they spent $15 to $20 to mail that board away. They did not put a return address on the package, they only put a note in with the board the note says if you find it, forward it to the Talking Board Historical Society, because trust me, you don't want it. The two you see back here with the caution tape on them, the previous owner of these boards found them in their house. They have no idea how the boards got there. But when they found them in the house, the husband lost his job, the kids started suffering from nightmares. So the wife took caution tape, she wrapped the boards in planchettes, she donated them to the TBHS, and when I followed up with her, the husband had a new job, the kids stopped having nightmares. Now, she believed just having these boards in the house is what caused those problems. Problems went away when the boards went away. I can't believe this is his personal collection. 1966, Oh my god. Complete that. The bedazzled one. You get the frame lines or turn it off. Now, Best ten dollars we've ever spent. I look too naked. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you slut. Oh, yeah, yeah. In a good way. Yeah. Okay. Well, tell me what you bought. Oh, might have just bought a Ouija board from the 1960s that we will be using tonight. We have to use it tonight. That's like we in have the to. Daniel's house. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. Where are we going now? Uh, create a werewolf look by combining things. Ask us how. Like bottom and top. Yeah. Andrew, can you look at this? Yeah. No. Oh, it's makeup. That's fun. I'm assuming it's a power, like a small power. Human brain. Ninety-five dollars. Twenty. What's a human brain in there? Sixty-five. That's not as bad. What's that? Human kneecap. Human brain bile. Forty-five. A single rib. Thirty inch. I can't actually. Love that. Imagine like your letter to getting back to the UK. It's like you have to say what you brought, but over you're like. 
fire, and also candles, some spells, um, you know, um, sort of a Ouija board, um, a human rib, um, and another candle. <laughs> and like, uh, Haunted dolls. Doesn't say that, does it? No. That they are haunted though. These two are fancy each other. Someone might, it's an antique. Those aren't used. How much are they? Is it because they're vintage? Vintage pants? Yeah. That's good. No. Or don't mind. <laughs> said it's called the witch house because of their relation to the witch trials. Okay, so we are gonna go in the witch house slash Corwin house and have a look around inside. Abigail. We're getting candy for our night in with a Ouija board. Right, what else do we want? Anything? We're done. We're done. Scissors. <laughs> yeah, we like to be able to do this. Yeah, we are. We'll do it. How? I have nail cuticle cutters. <laughs> I can slowly cut. Yeah. Okay. Okay, where are you doing yours? Maybe I would like it on my arm, actually. <laughs> All right, we'll see it. What do you want it? Are you doing it on me? Do you want do you want the bushels up or down? Up. Is that good? Oh, is that good? Yeah, whatever. How long do we leave it on for? 30, it says 30 seconds? seconds. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> that yeah. worked really well. I love it. Do you want up? Oh yes, right there. Or growing out of your arm. No up. But oh, I have a, no! Where I want your veins where are? Where the veins are? No, that's my. I don't want my hair. It has to be like yeah, right where the muscle. Oh, go. Hold it there for her. You don't need to get me. I look fun. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna say? Fantastic. What? I was gonna say fucking ugly, but then I changed it to fantastic. <laughs> No sense. I was like, what did you say? I'm doing wide camera view. <laughs> you look crazy. What's live? Wide. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Uh, mine's gonna come out like shit. Yours is gonna be perfect. Mine's gonna come out with all the bushels like tangled. <laughs> I just I just know it. I'm gonna see it. All the branches are gonna be broken. Should I undo it? Yeah, see if it's sticking. Why do you look worried? Why do you look worried? <laughs> you did it. I knew it would have some broken branches on it. That was your fault. Is that my fault? The other one that did it. It still looks good. Yeah, I don't mind. 
fucking shit. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Perfect. Right there. That is perfect. This bitch. What? What is that? Well, it still looks fine. It's just like some lavender pieces fell. Oh my god. that right yeah <gasps> <Stop>. <laughs> why is this happening as soon as they're bringing Ouija board into the room <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> okay can you please turn on the light if we're first off we're the most innocent humans <laughs> I think it's what you're touching yeah, it's, it's when you touch the... Yeah. But what's going on with the light? It's just telling. <sighs> no, I still think it's a ghost. Oh God, that was a lot. Turn off the light if you're with us. Probably make us drink cider and bottom apples. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Are you ready? Yeah. Well, why are you sitting like that? You cross legged. Well, I want to be able to go. Oh, it feels so weird. Weird in what way? Oh, it just feels magical. Is there anyone in the room with us now? Is there anyone from the Daniels family with us? Please move the planchette to yes if you are here with us. Or no. Or no. If you're someone else. <laughs> It's our last day, so we're just walking around with an iced coffee. We have an open smile, like a just smirk smile, and then an ooh. I like the ooh best. I don't like that one. I love Joanna Parker. Oh, the Joanna Parker in me is very happy. Um, Holly Madison's vlog, there was a line and like a 30 minute wait to get in here. She came in October. I thought it was so fascinating what he was saying about these. Yeah, and how there's like at least, what, a hundred bodies and it's like a shoot. All I could think of was the Jeepers Creepers yeah, scene. Where he, yeah. Ah! If we stand here, think that goes down it's hundreds of, of feet. Yeah, I know all of them. And underneath us is like corpses, bones, hundreds and hundreds of 
phones and corpses. Point, phones, yeah. There's probably a lot of empty space now, if you think about it. Because at first, when the bodies were full, they were just like flesh and all the stuff. That's all like melted away now. So it's all just like. So they could probably add some more. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you, Barry. I know, I was imagining, imagine your will, you're like, throw me down one of the chutes yeah. in the Salem graveyard. Here lies the body of Colonel ha Hathorne, age 76. Yeah. Interesting. Let's do, nope. we'll do that one, yeah. They have fudge too. What were the other ones in milk? Uh, oh, okay. So yeah. Okay, we'll do, uh, okay. we'll do four, so. Um, you got it. Okay, hi. I hope you enjoyed that vlog of my time in Salem. Salem was incredible. I need to go back. I loved it so much. So I thought I'd just do a haul of all the things that I got in Salem, but also the things that I bought when I was in Cape May and in New York, which were the two previous vlogs um, that were on this trip to the US. Because I did do Halloween decor hunting when I was with my cousin Kate in Cape May and a tiny bit with Kitty in New York, although in New York City, Halloween decor hunting is terrible because Michael's, there's only one Michael's and it's terrible. <laughs> they didn't have any of the stock. So anyway, I got this, which is one of the things I'd seen on the Michael's website, but I didn't see anything else that was in my Michael's wish list. There was also the really cool like wooden tarot card things from Michael's, the Bride of Frankenstein bust. There were several things and they just weren't in stock in Michael's, but I did get this. So it is an antique looking book, but it's storage. Then Kate and I went to Marshall's and we did get matching Halloween pajamas, which I haven't worn yet because I've been waiting to do this haul. Um, but yeah. So I've got two new dogs in Halloween costumes. Tea towels. Then as you'll see from the vlogs, I found Joanna Parker. There's no Joanna Parker in the TK Maxx or HomeSense in the UK, so it is only a Marshalls and Home Goods thing. I love Joanna Parker's designs because they're like vintage but also very creepy. So we've got a Joanna Parker tea towel with the little pumpkin guy on. And then when I was with Kate in Home Goods or Marshalls, can't remember which one, but I found these little Joanna Parker figures. They're so cute. It's like they're cute but also creepy. So I got these two in Cape May with Kate. Okay then if you know what Wawa is then you'll know how great Wawa is. And Wawa is just, it's a tradition with me and my cousin and we go and there's amazing cooked drinks and food. Anyway, Wawa is great, but it's basically, what, 
there's no comparison in the UK to what Wawa is. If you've seen my other vlogs, you'll know that whenever I go and visit my cousin, we go to Wawa because there aren't any in New York City. Wawa have merch and I did get some Wawa merch, which is embarrassing if I was in the US. But Dee said that in the UK, no one will know what it is. So it's like a, it's a real deep cut. So yeah, I got this um, oversized Wawa long sleeve top and then I also got this when I was with Kate in Marshalls or Home Goods. So my dog Harley makes pig noises when she's excited on a walk so I got her a pig costume because she is a pig. I think that's everything I got in Cape May and then from the vlogs you'll know that I went from Cape May to New York City to stay with my friend Kitty and we had a week in New York City together working so we worked from all these different coffee shops. So I only actually got a couple of things in New York because we were mostly working and when we were working we were out for dinner and drinks. We went to several bookstores and then when Kitty and I were in one of our coffee shops we were working from I found the envelope poems of Emily Dickinson. So these are poems that were never actually published. They are just written on scraps of envelopes. It actually has the original picture of the poems and then, not a translation, but is it a translation? What is it? <laughs> it's written out so you can actually read it here. Okay, and then you'll know if you watch the vlogs that I went from New York to Boston and then Boston to Salem. So in Boston, Andrew and I went in this really cute stationery shop and they had Halloween cards. So I have got two cards here that I need to write in and send to my friends Molly and Kitty. I got this one for Molly because Molly is queen of puns. So it's the ghost face from Scream and it says Scream Cheese. For Kitty, <laughs> I've got this card which I thought she'd appreciate. So it says, haunted house idea. Someone pops out who you, you kind of know, but not well enough to say hi. <laughs> Moving on to Salem. I think Andrew and I started with House Witch because that had been highly recommended to us. So they have a whole table with crystals and what all the crystals properties are. So I got a little bag of crystals and I took a picture of what each one means, but these are my crystals. Housewitch was honestly such a great shop. So Andrew and I both got one of these. So they have these bottles of, I think it's crystal essence, um, and they have different properties. So I got, I can't remember what Andrew got. So I got pyrite, which is for confidence, manifesting, and abundance, because that's all I'm in need of right now. So you can put a couple of drops in a drink, in your bath water, just under your tongue. Then they also had these body scrubs and each of those had different properties. So the one I got is all roads open. So it's inspire, unblock blessings, change, initiation. So it's a sweetening sugar spell scrub. So Andrew and I also got bracelets. These are little crystal bracelets. Mine, I think he, he got one that says Salem. So the one I got says hex the patriarchy. House Witch, I think was my favorite, but Oak and Moss was also great. So I got an abundance kit, a spell jar. I also got one for Andrew. I think, is that all I got from there? So as you'll see from the vlog, we went to the Ouija board museum. The guy in there was so great because he was just so passionate about it and loved telling us all the history of Ouija. Um, so they had t-shirts, so I felt like I had to get a t-shirt because Honestly, the Ouija board museum was one of the highlights of the whole trip. So I got this t-shirt. It says Salem Witch Board Museum, Salem, Massachusetts. And then it's got the uh, Victorian couple playing with a spirit board. So I love that. And I love learning about the history of talking boards, spirit boards, witch boards, Ouija, the whole thing. And then, <laughs> and then obviously from the vlog you will have seen, I got a Ouija board. <laughs> I've been wanting a Ouija board for a while. So when Andrew and I were in there and we saw that they had some for sale, where else better to buy my secondhand Ouija board from than the Ouija board museum? This one was produced in Salem. It's from 1966, which I love. So it is vintage. When we were in Salem, I really wanted to get tarot cards and I did. So I wanted to find a set of tarot cards that really spoke to me. And when I saw these, I knew I had to get them. However, I probably need an original set too because it's a little bit different than the original tarot. But yeah, it's Labyrinth, 
tarot cards. These are so cool. I'm so obsessed with this. I also love the movie The Labyrinth. Love it so much. So if I was going to get a themed set of tarot cards, it would be this. Or are there dog tarot cards? Because I would also like that. I'm just going to show you a few of the cards because they're so great. The Magician, the Dancers, the Chariot, the Fool. I love this so much. I also love the small detail that the box, the inside of the box, is Toby's pyjamas. If you've seen the labyrinth, then you know. Then there's um, a lot of Joanna Parker stuff coming and I wish I got more. I found more of these little leg hanging figures in Salem and there was also the skeleton and the bat and I honestly wish I got those as well, but I was pushing it for space in my suitcase, but still, I should have got them. So I got the cat, which is again, cute but creepy and I love it. I also got this little Joanna Parker mug, which is again, cute but creepy. Then we also found these hanging, are they tree ornaments? I guess you could hang them from wherever. So these are great Halloween decorations. So I've got the owl, the ghost, the bat, and the skeleton. And then I also got these Joanna Parker black cat salt and pepper shakers. And then one of the days that Andrew and I were there, it was market day, which is only the third Saturday of every month. So luckily we were there for that and I could have bought so much more stuff. There were just so many great things. So um, I got some coffin nails. I just love weird, they curios, aren't they? So got some nice coffin nails. Then, hello. Oh, it's dinner time, is it? One second. Then this also comes under curiosities. So I have... <laughs> It is kind of weird when I say it out loud. I've got a coyote bone. These are just nice decorative things. So I've got a nice coyote bone. And then I've also got um, a porcupine quill, which I almost had in my hand luggage. And when Andrew and I got back to Boston, I moved it into my checked luggage. And I'm glad I did because when I was going through security, it said no sharp objects, which I could have been caught at security with a porcupine quill. Okay, so that is everything that I got on my trip. I had the best time. I need to go back to Salem because it's just one of my favorite places. So now with house sitting, I'm looking at the areas around Salem, like Boston, Beverly, so I could house sit near Salem and do day trips to Salem. So yeah, that is everything. If you haven't seen the Cape May and the New York vlogs, you should definitely go and watch those. Um, and Harley's currently eating her dinner that she's had delivered to her.